everyone, my name is Ian McCleary and I'm the Education and Program Manager at SciTech Hands-On Museum in downtown Aurora. As part of the Aurora Express event, we are going to be talking to you about a Model A Ford. Mr. Nick from the Park District will tell you all about his unique car that he owns. Hi everyone, I'm here with my friend Nick Sarges from the Fox Valley Park District and his beautiful Model A. Um, and Nick's going to tell you a little bit about himself. Hi everyone, my name is Nick Sarges and I work for the Fox Valley Park District's Performing Arts Department. And I'm really thankful today that uh, my good friend Ian invited me out to talk about my car with you all. Um, Nick, can you tell us a little bit more about your Model A and why you, uh, why you actually have it? <laughs> why I have it? I think that's a really popular question. Why do you have a car like this? Um, uh, when you can have a modern car with fun heated seats and all sorts of cool <laughs> stuff, right? Um, Model A Ford, so this one is a 1931 slant window town sedan. Um, what's really cool about it real quick is why we call it a slant window compared to a standard sedan mm -hmm. is the window is slanted. Oh cool, that's kind of neat, right? I like those cool facts about So that's one reason why I purchased it, but when I drive it around town and I can like honk and wave hi to people, you're selling smiles, right? And smiles, a sense of hope and a sense of love in the community. Plus, um, since I was young, my father restored, built, bought, sold um, Model A's my entire life, cool. and I always wanted my own. So I found this one, and that's, uh, that's kind of the story about it. Fantastic. So um, any other unique features that this car has that current cars don't, or current cars have this fun thing and your car doesn't? It's quite a long list. <laughs> there are some similarities, but a lot um, of things that are just a little different. For example, like our headlights are built into the hoods of our cars these days. When these headlights sit on a headlight bar, cool. and they're kind of really big, right? Neat, right? <laughs> um, modern cars uh, do have hood ornaments. Um, I have a quail. Um, the quail fun fact about the hood ornament, uh, Henry Ford wanted a bird of flight, so he chose the quail. I'm per oh. I hear it's one of the slowest flying birds. I don't know if that's a thing, but the bird of flight um, flies his Model A Ford down the road. Cool. Um, there are a few things, and we can talk about the inside a yeah, little bit. Yeah, that'd be bit. great, yeah. yeah. Um, unlike modern cars that have heated seats, uh, this does not. Um, this has bench seating, so instead of like individual seats in right. a car or van these days, it's just like a, like a mini couch, per se, in your own vehicle. Cool. Um, many people always ask, uh, Nick, where is the air condition? Or where's the heat? And I go, well, the heat is actually from the engine, so it kind of comes through the floorboards. And believe it or not, this car warms up on a cold winter day fairly quickly. Nice. And uh, the air condition, when we open up the windows, <laughs> well, Mr. Ian, uh, here's your air condition. Oh, wow. <laughs> Um, one thing I do love though, and it's a neat uh, fact about the Model A Ford, specifically this one, is, actually all facts are neat, I should say that so I don't repeat myself too many times, uh, the windshield actually opens up. Oh really? And there's a vent, part of the dashboard that catches the air as it comes in and it spreads the cool air down through the bottom part of the cabin. Okay. So your feet stay cool, right? right. And then you don't smell too much like a Model A engine when you get out. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's, that's a neat piece about it. This also isn't an automatic. Gotcha. That's, I guess, the biggest difference between a modern day vehicle and this 31 town sedan. You can't just turn the key and go. Okay. You have to turn the key, which connects the electrical system, but that doesn't actually start your car. Oh, wow. You have to press a starter, you have to choke the carburetor, which creates a combustion, and then boom, your car has started. It doesn't go boom and blow up, but it, <laughs> it, it goes. Boom, and then you know, yeah, it, starts, it starts up. Yeah, the engine you gotta warm it up cool. a little bit, and then you know, you head on down the road. I was noticing um, this little circle up here. Most of our cars nowadays have the gas tank in the back. Is this where you put your gas in? This is actually the gas tank. So it's not on the left or the right, it's actually right above your knees uh, when you get into the vehicle. But so you, just, you don't gotta worry about pulling up to the wrong the, side of the gas it, tank. It's <laughs> the most convenient thing of any car. So you just untwist it, and it cool. comes right off. Fantastic. So that's there, but you need to put gas, and some people don't even know this, you also have to put water inside these cars to keep them cool, especially during the summer months. Okay. And the water goes right here in the radiator. So we turn the quail a little bit, we pour our water in there. Now, it's not summertime, we're all in our coats, 
Um, the, sun, the sun is shining, so it's a little bright out, but uh, we'll put antifreeze in here during the winter time. Okay. You know, so nothing freezes, but that's where the water goes. The car doesn't overheat. Cool. Um, I was also noticing, like on my car, I have to go inside, pull a little button, and the hood pops up. Mm -hmm. How does, I don't see, like, does this whole thing pop up this way? How does it... How, does it, how do you get to the, popped up that yeah, way. how do you get but to the no. engine? So you have two clips on your end, and I have two on mine. Oh yeah, I see them here. And what we'll do is we'll pull up, turn to the left a little bit. You got it? Yeah. There we go. Pull up and turn. There you go. Awesome. Oh, fantastic. You can just lay it to the side right there. And that is the mighty Model A engine that you're looking at. That is a four-cylinder engine. I think it's about 40 horsepower, too, okay. which um, isn't quite a lot. <laughs> it's very little. Um, there is a 1931 police head on it, so the head of the engine that helps create that combustion. Gotcha. Lots of engineering For is sure. in this vehicle, and it fascinates me. I know just a small percentage, but what I do know fascinates me every time I continue to learn about these cars. But nice. the police head that's on the engine helps with higher compression okay so the car can go just a little bit faster and they were on police cars that's what we call oh, the police head right makes yeah. sense <laughs> and that head takes me from 40 to i believe 42. wow what is uh, the max uh, <laughs> speed on this one now it says you can go 65 but really the the comfortable high speed i would say is about 50 to 55. Okay. But this car beautifully cruises at 35 right down the road. So it's not like you're going to go on uh, the highway going to other places with no, this car. No. <laughs> you know, these cars weren't meant to go so fast down the road. You're supposed to, like we do now, we drive them for the novelness. Gotcha. But it's just enjoying the road, going down, and not going super fast. <laughs> you can't go 0 to 60 in a modern car like in a couple seconds. 0 to 60 in this is a couple minutes. Gotcha. <laughs> Um, also, since it is an older car, are all the parts original? Are there new parts in here? Did you do anything special to make it your that own? That is a great question. Now, I did purchase this vehicle um, as it was, and it was restored in 2000 by a gentleman somewhere here in Illinois. Gotcha. And for the most part, I would say 90% of this car actually is original. Nice. Um, all the pieces are from 1931. But a few things that aren't, um, and I get compliments on this all the time, <laughs> but this is not an original color. Oh, The really? original color to the car was this like lime-ish, olive, green-ish. I'm colorblind, so forgive me if I don't know the, <laughs> but the owner wanted something a little more sporty. Yeah. He chose this like beautiful red maroon. I love it. I think it's sharp. All Model A fenders were black. Gotcha, okay. Um, but it's just the main body color. So that's a little different. The interior in this would be wool, sort of like my Pico that I'm wearing. Gotcha. But they put like a, um, a vinyl leather in. Which because if you're with your family as kids eat in the back seat, you know, you want something that can clean up and not stay. So they did that. Plus, that wool is like super itchy and not comfortable <laughs> at all. So um, I appreciate those little upgrades. Also, um, not that we drive this car really at night, but we did put LED headlights okay. and taillights in, so they're much brighter, they're much safer, and you want safety in a car like this. Fantastic. Um, one other thing that I've noticed when you've been driving, driving it around town is your horn. That's like the <laughs> iconic sound. We it can hear you coming around the corner from our house. Um, can you give it a honk really quick so we can? Give it a honk? Sure. Yeah. Sure. Here we go. <laughs> That iconic sound takes you right back to the Model A days when Henry Ford was, you know, pushing these cars by the thousand off the assembly line. That is pretty Such cool. an iconic sound. Anytime I'm driving down the road and I honk it, um, there's so many people that turn around and smile and wave, <laughs> and all the kids like to point and go, look at that cool old car, and it's so awesome. Um, one thing I love to say about a car like this is it's about the miles of memories, mm -hmm. right? You know, whether it's just around the block or if you're, you know, going to a family reunion or wherever, it's all about the memories you make and those miles in the car. Cool. Well, thank you very much for bringing out your awesome Model A car. Um, thank you guys for joining us for this edition, uh, um, this part of our um, Aurora Express um, event that we have going on in Aurora downtown. Again, my name is Mr. Ian. I'm from SciTech Hands-On Museum. And this is Mr. Nick from the Fox Valley Park District. Uh, wishing you all happy holidays. Thank you, everyone. So, Mr. Nick, can you uh, start the car up for us yeah, so we can sure. hear what it sounds like? It sounds like a plane. Here we go. Turn the key on. <laughs>
gotta turn the gas on. Gas first, yep. Gas is on. Press the clutch in. Clutch? Ready to pull the choke. Press choke. The fire on the sink. Oh. There it goes. 